Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'd like to tell you seven simple ways to keep your smart home safe from hackers in 2023. The top three data breaches last year were crypto.com theft, the attack took place on January 17th and targeted 500 people's cryptocurrency wallets. Then there was this Microsoft data breach and finally the News Corp server breach. Do you know how many people are hacked in the US and how frequently? There isn't a concise data on how many people get hacked a year. However, considering there are around 2200 cyber attacks per day, that could equate to more than 800,000 people being hacked per year. In this video, we'll take a look at seven simple ways to make sure that you are protected. But first, let's begin with the most popular home automation devices. The most popular home automation devices include smart thermostats like the Nest and Ecobee thermostats, smart lighting, examples include Philips Hue, LifeX smart bulbs, smart security cameras. Devices allow you to monitor your home remotely and can also include features such as motion detection and night vision. Examples are Nest Cam, Ring Cam, uh, smart locks. Examples are like August Smart Lock, Schlagi Sense, and many more that are available. Then we have the smart speakers like the Amazon Echo, Google Home. We know these devices allow you to control the smart home devices with voice commands and can also be used for other functions like playing music and setting alarms and more. And finally, we have the smart plugs. These devices allow you to control your devices which are not smart by plugging into the smart plug. Now that we understand what are the most popular devices, we want to understand what the hackers would gain out of gaining access to your smart devices. A hacker who gains access to a smart thermostat, smart lighting, smart security camera, smart locks, smart speakers and smart plugs could potentially access personal information. Smart devices can collect usage patterns and energy consumption. So a hacker could access that information and use it for malicious purposes or sell it to third parties. A hacker could use it as a gateway. So a hacker may use the compromised device as a gateway to gain access to other devices on your home network, potentially compromising other smart devices and personal information. A hacker could use it as a spy device meaning the cameras and microphones can be accessed to access live video or audio feed of your home, potentially compromising your privacy. A hacker could use it to extort money, like the smart devices could be used to extort money from you by threatening to change the temperature settings or lighting or lock your doors and not allow you. So this is pretty scary, right? Don't you worry, let's get right into how you can be protected and if you'd like to know what I actually use for security, then I'll share that information towards the end of the video as well. By the way, I'm Arvind, I'm a digital nomad, I run a digital transformation company and I travel a lot. I don't have any sponsorship from any VPN company, so let's get started. Number one, always use strong passwords. By using strong and unique passwords for all of your smart home devices and accounts, it is extremely essential. Here are some tips for creating strong passwords for your smart devices. Avoid common words and phrases. Don't use easily guessed passwords such as password or 1234. I've seen a lot of people just use that as a quick fix. Make it long. The longer your password, more secure it will be. So aim for your password to be at least 12 character long, even if you're using it for something very simple that you're gonna be using very frequently. Then the next one is that you cannot reuse the password in a lot of different places. You can use a password manager. A password manager can generate strong, unique passwords for you and store them securely. So you don't have to remember them all the time. Avoid using personal information. I've seen a lot of people just use their birthday or you know some name of the pet or their children's name. So don't do that. Don't use your address, your phone number, your birthday. Update your passwords regularly. It's a good practice to change your passwords every few months or when you suspect that they have been compromised. Next one on our list to stay safe from the hackers is to always keep your devices updated. Regularly check for installed software updates and on your smart home devices as they often include security patches. 
All right, the next one is using virtual private networks, so VPN. You can encrypt your internet connection and here are some tips for using your VPN on a smart device. Choose a reputable VPN service. Install it on your device and once the VPN is installed, you can open the app and then finally do that final step to configure it as well. Now this may include entering your login credentials, choosing a server location and enabling the VPN connection, but make sure you follow all these steps. You also have to like stay connected to the VPN once you configure it. You'll typically see a notification on your device when VPN connection is established and you can use VPN all the time. Make sure that whenever you're going online, you have that connection active and you're using your smart device to access the internet that will serve you long, long way. Also, you can consider using a VPN router. A VPN router can have all of your devices connected through the VPN. That's gonna be an extra layer of security for your smart home network. The next one on our list is using a firewall. Use a firewall to protect your smart home network from unauthorized access. The next one would be then monitoring your network. You can use different monitoring tools to keep track of all the devices that are connected to your network and identify any suspicious activity. The next one is use device level security. Device level security features include two-factor authentication to add an extra layer of protection for your smart home devices. And finally, be wary of these new third-party apps that you are installing on your phone or on all of your other devices because they can take a lot of access and control without your knowledge. It's important to remember that cybersecurity is constantly evolving. So to make sure that you stay informed and keep your devices and network up to date with the latest security measures is really important. Finally, as we conclude this video, I'd like to share what tools I use in handling security on my devices. I use Surfshark, but all VPNs are good. You can choose where you're getting the best deal. I also use two-factor authentication on my iCloud and my Gmail. I use Google passwords to save all of my passwords. I wanted to authentically share with you my security protocol. You can also follow the 80-20 rules. So just take care of the 20% of the security recommendations to get 80% of safety and that should be good enough. Thank you for watching my video. I do really appreciate you as a viewer and I would be so thrilled if you subscribe so I can continue to bring more valuable content for you. Thank you again and see you next time.